Have you ever heard of a man known as Og? References to Og appear in the Phoenician inscriptions from Byblos, within the much older Canaanite Ugaritic texts, within Midian on the northwest Arab Peninsula, in Deuteronomy, in the Book of Numbers, and in Joshua. Mentioned in many religious and non-religious texts, King of Basham, which is now the Golan Heights. Who was this Og? Well, it turns out, Og was a giant. A rather special giant. He was, in fact, the last of his kind. The Book of Numbers states that he died during the Battle of Edrai. Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 11 declares that his bedstead, translated in some texts as sarcophagus, was made of iron and was 9 cubits in length and 4 cubits in width, about 13 and a half feet by 6 feet. It goes on to say that at the royal city of the Ammonites, his giant bedstead could still be seen as a novelty at the time the texts were written. Fast forward to the present day, and a miraculous discovery has been made. A discovery which could see more biblical stories being proven historically accurate. A recent archaeological dig has unearthed no less than two dozen skeletons, all of giant proportions near the ancient ruins of Rujim el Herai, which is indeed located within the Golan Heights. What's more, compellingly, this was no normal burial. During a press briefing, the team responsible for the discovery expressed their views to the world. Quote, the site of Rujim el Herai has been extensively searched for decades already, but our team noticed a mound nearby, which we thought was of major interest. It has been two long years, but it was definitely worth the effort," said Tom Yagur, one of the archaeologists on site. One of the giants was covered in an exquisitely crafted suit of copper armor. One of their copper swords was also as hard as steel and made in a fashion unknown to modern man. Could this really be the final resting place of the last of the giants? All we can hope is that the Smithsonian doesn't get a chance to buy them.